Hey guys, Kelly here, and I want to share with you a really incredible tool that Facebook just released. And this is for those of you that are struggling on how to create an ad. You, you've seen my videos, you've seen other people go over how to do a Facebook ad, and you just, you're overwhelmed or it's just too much. Well, guys, can I tell you, Facebook has learned and heard, and they have made creating an ad so simple. Literally, within a couple minutes, you can have your ad launched, and you don't have to be a techie genius to do it. Now, if you'll notice, I am using the new, they just released it, Facebook dashboard. And if you happen to initiate, the new, I love the new dashboard. It's very similar to what we use on our uh, workplace EXP private Facebook group. Um, you just go over here if you don't like it and you go back to classic Facebook ad, uh, and, and it switches back. But I believe the new uh, automated uh, Facebook ad creation tool is on this particular dashboard. So having said that, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do and take a, take a look at all of the videos that I put together. A lot of great free lead gen stuff and, and make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified when I put out some of these marketing videos. Guys, I'm committed as a realtor to learning this craft and learning this profession and then sharing what I learn with other agents. Cool? All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into my home page and I'm going to look for one of my Facebook pages that I own for my real estate business. I'm going to use real estate keys for this particular uh, demonstration. And I'm going to go to Ad Center. I'm going to click All Ads. And I'm going to go up here and create an ad. Right here, Get Started with Automated Ads. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is literally going to now walk me through a very easy process on how to create this ad. It's literally going to hold my hand all the way through it. Um, so go ahead and hit Get Started. And it's going to ask which ad accounts you want. I'm not going to get too crazy with you. I have multiple, multiple accounts. Probably if it's you, you've, if you've got one business uh, page, then that's what it's going to pull from. Um, hit Next. Since I've already used it, it's going to ask you uh, what, how would you categorize your business. And if I were to click out all of these and start from scratch, I would just type in the word real estate and it would bring it up. I'd click it and then I would type in real estate and it would bring up a bunch of them. One of them is agent. I would do it again and put in real estate services. So those are the three tags that, and Facebook, well, let me show you. Let me get rid of these. And so when you first get started, go ahead and search the term real estate and it'll pull it up right there. We'll do this again. Okay, we're going to do real estate company. Let's do it again. And we will do real estate agent. And let's get rid of real estate company and do real estate services. Boom. That's it. All right, so what I'm going to do now, this, this says, how do you want to do business? Do you want to do direct contact? And direct contact is where you're going to be dealing with people through Messenger. And I would highly recommend until you get proficient with that, stay away from that and stay away from in person. Go with online. Now, with online, the ad, once the people go ahead and complete what the ad is going to tell them to do to get to the page I've created for them, is it's going to send them, once they fill in their email address and their name, it's going to send them to a website page that I've created. Now, for this particular example, I'm not going to take the time to show you how I create the pages, but with the company that I'm with, eXp, we have a fantastic CRM that allows me to create IDX squeeze pages. So for this ad, I would probably go after people looking for zero down payment, USDA homes that are available in Lake County, Florida. And I would create a page with all homes available in areas that would be available for USDA, no down payment. That would be the pitch to get people interested in talking about possible no down payment homes. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click that off. I would need to put a website address. So right now I'm just going to keep Kelly Wheeler. No, we don't want that. That's not what I want. I actually have my own website. Let me go up here to get it. It's kwtherealtor.com. That is the one I'm going to use. Right there. And now, let me just say real quick, that's my main website. That's not the one that I would use. Again, I'm not going to create the IDX squeeze page. But what I would do is I would go into my software and I would create a specific page and it would say kwtherealtor.com forward slash and then it would it would be whatever the page created for that particular landing page. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, but whatever page you want to send them to, put right here. And you're going to go to next. 
Now, because I've already done this, guys, I don't have to recreate this, and I'm not going to do it for you, but it's very similar to the real estate tags I showed you a couple minutes ago. In this box, start typing common interest. So I typed in the word real estate, and it brought up all these tags, and I just started clicking them, and it added them to here. Why are we doing that? Because we're showing, we're showing Facebook who our potential target audience is. And the reason I use sites like Trulia, Zillow, Redfin um, is, believe it or not, every time somebody in Facebook either goes and visits their pages, their groups, or enters into a discussion with regard to those keywords, Facebook is collecting them and putting them into subgroups that they can then in turn turn around and sell to real estate agents. So anybody that has had anything to do with these words right here, these interests, Facebook is going to recognize them. And when I go ahead and put my ad together, they're going to sell that information to me by showing my ads to them. Make sense? All right, let's go ahead and hit next. Getting my results. See how easy this is, guys? Uh, recommended get more shoppers to your website. Of course, I want them to go to my website. So here is where we can go ahead and put in, we're going to use a single image and I'm going to browse. So I don't want to use this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and browse the library. And I, because I do a lot of advertising, I have a lot of uh, pictures already, but you can actually upload images directly into here. I'm just going to pick this one here and continue. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And just stick with that. Guys, see how I did that? I went up here and clicked it. And then if I want to delete it, I can delete it. But I'm going to stick with that image. All right, so now I'm going to go in and get rid of this headline. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to leave that there. Let's leave that there. I'm going to get rid of the text. I'm going to leave the headline in. I'm going to, here's the text right here. And this is cool that they're allowing you to get rid of this right here. If you don't want people to see that it's a real estate site, you could put... Lake, well, let's see if it'll let me. This is new to me too, guys. Lake County Lifestyle. Let's see what it does. Nope. If you notice, guys, it put it right down here. So it didn't let me change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put click learn more right there. See what it does down here, guys? Click Learn More. I'm pushing, pushing them to there. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put in my text. And guys, remember I said at the beginning, uh, you have to know what you're advertising to. Here, I'm going to say, get my list of all homes in Lake Lake County, Florida that would eliminate a potential, I don't like that. Get a list of all homes in the county that qualify for zero down, that qualify for zero down payment options. And then I'm gonna go up here uh, and I'm gonna click an emoji, basically that is showing them To look below, so see, get a list of all homes in Lake County, Florida. And please forgive me, I'm not going to go ahead and, and fix spelling errors or capitalization, but you get the gist of what I'm doing. Um, and then boom. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one thing right here. I'm going to get rid of shop now and do learn more. Okay? So what I did is I said, get a list of all homes in Lake County, qualifiers, zero time payments. Down here, it says click learn more. Boom. So it's already done it. And it's going to send them to this URL, right? Now, if I, if I wanted to change that URL, it would have happened on step two. But this, this is going to send them to that website. Remember, you're going to send them to whatever website that fits with the ad you're creating. On this particular one, I didn't create it, but I would have made an, an, a website that contained all of the homes in USDA eligible areas in Lake County. And then what's really cool, and you're going to see this in a minute, what's really cool is when they go to my website, that's where I'm going to collect all their basic information, email, phone number, all of that good stuff. Uh, but this particular ad you're going to see in a minute um, it gets really powerful. So let's go ahead and now go ahead and what you can't see below here is the word next. If I was able to bring this down, you would see it, but you can't. So right below my little arrow button is a blue button that says next. Let's go ahead and click it. 
It didn't like something. I think I know what it was. Okay, we've got all of that there. Okay, we've got all of this. Okay, I don't need that. I've got learn more. Let me, there we go. Nope, it's, that's looking good. So we're gonna hit next. And here it is. So I think, let me go back. Right here would be where, if you were doing messaging, uh, it would ask you to fill out a lead page form. Because, and let me show you, because we're sending them to a website, all it's going to do now, it, the ad's created, guys. It's right there. It's ready to go. When I click, and remember, I don't need their information for this particular ad because once they click learn more, it'll send them here, and they can look at one or two homes, and by the time they look at that third home, the website's going to prompt them to register to see all the homes. So once you click, click next, and right here, if you were doing a lead form, it would show up here, but because I'm sending them directly to a website, it's skipping this process. Um, we're going to go to next, and right here, can you see the word promote? This is where you would click to go ahead and get the ad live, and that's it. Guys, right now, for $3 a day, it's telling me I'm going to get 6 to 25 clicks per day to my website. If I went to 5, 10 to 36 clicks per day. Okay, if I wanted to do $10 a day, There you go. $10 a day just basically doubles it. So if you want to stick to $5 a day, you're going to have 10 to 40 people on average going to your website. And probably three to five of those are going to be leaving their information. And then simply click the word promote and it's done. If you've done everything on the ad perfectly and nothing gets flagged, your ad now will be live. And remember, you can stop that ad at any time by going into your business page going to ads and pausing it. But guys, that is how you can get an ad up and going in the next 10 minutes and drive for $5 a day. What is that? Five times 30 days. That's $150 a month. And if you did $150 a month, guys, okay, so let's take 30 days. Say on average, there's 36 people that clicked your website. That's 1,080 people going to your website. If just 5% of them left their email, and phone number, guys, you just collected 54 leads for 150 bucks. You see how powerful that is? All right, I'm going to go ahead and end with that. Go ahead and leave me comments below if this was of interest to you. If this, if this was something that you just looked at and said, my God, that's simple, let me know below. This helps me know how to, to, to get this information to you in ways that are, that's understandable. Um, but again, thank you so much. Brand new Facebook automated ad creation has just changed the game for real estate agents. And as always, if you are at a position where you're, you're thinking of looking at different brokers, I'm going to leave a 15-minute uh, schedule button below. Just schedule a phone call with me. Here's a couple things I'll promise. I'm not going to recruit you into eXp Realty. What I'll do is answer any questions you have. I'll go over why I moved my business over and how it's impacted me this year. Uh, I would love to share that with you and, and, again, answer any questions you have. And if you just have any simple marketing questions, Drop me some comments below. Guys, have a great day, and I hope that this is something that's going to absolutely help you dominate lead generation on Facebook.